What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Single Player Zero to Hero Tarkov. In the last episode, we unfortunately ended it with a uh, funny little death there on Factory, trying to do some pistol runs. But uh, we had a lot of successes in the last episode, so we're going to try to continue that over to today. Um, but who knows, because today I think we're going to end up doing some tasks that are probably going to take us to good old streets, because I really want to try this task right here. Never done it before. So I really want to give it a shot, but what I'm going to do first, I think, is actually, um, I think I'm going to use our scav, because we do have a scav that's ready Help to go. Help me! And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take him to streets, and I'm going to go scout it out a little bit, because I haven't really played streets very much lately. So uh, I'm going to grab a map and kind of just run around with a scav, hopefully not die, maybe maybe get out with actually, you know, some loot for us, and uh, and see what we can we can do here. And I'm going to try to visit the area that we got to use that flare so I can... Uh, so you can kind of get the bearings of it. So let's get let's get started. With VIP URCD key, you can install and activate Windows for only 16 bucks. Hey, that's pretty good. It's fast, easy, and 100% legit. You can now enter my new promo code for 2023, GV25, which will now save you 25% on your purchase. So get rid of that Windows activation watermark and get your system activated today. It also works for Windows 11 as well. Check the links in the description. All right, just took a nice little sip of coffee. Uh, let's see, where are we? We are by the theater. So, where is that on the map? So, I got a map pulled up, guys, so I can kind of figure out where the heck I am. Um, where the heck is the theater, actually? That's a good question. Oh, cinema. Okay. So, there's actually a hidden stash right over here, it says. Like, in here. So the main main objective right now, obviously, guys, I'm gonna try to find locate some where the where the hidden stashes are. Um, but also, what I want to do is I want to uh, try to not get killed by a PMC this run. <laughs> yeah, boy. We'll see though, because as always, when I do my scab runs, they like to hide. And uh, oh, here it is, nice. I like to hide, and they like to hop on the um, the mounted guns a lot. I've noticed. Let me get that. Sorry. And, uh, yeah, I always get, end up getting clapped by him by, because of that, so, I don't know. Anyway, let's turn, let's turn and go this way. So it says if I go to the street here, there's, there's more stashes, actually. We might as well hit these. Let's go, um, let's, 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 yeah, you know what? Why not? Let's, let's learn where the stashes are. Are you sure about this that? Down this street, there is one, actually, on the end of this so this is where evacuation zone is, apparently. Uh-oh. This one's something I'm getting shot at. It says, like, it's right over here somewhere. So I'm at the end of the street, obviously, so I can't go any further than here. Um, I may just go into Concordia as well and start looting in there, because there's lots of loot in there. So it says there's a stash, like, right in here. Are you sure about that? the Lexos. So actually, it might be down here that I'm looking for. It might be past this. Yeah, it might be down this street. Yeah. Once again, guys, if I, you know, if I just get shot and killed here, I mean, you know, whatever. It's a scab run. We'll chalk it up to, hey, we tried. And honestly, like I said, I haven't played streets a ton. So I'm trying to, like, get my bearings with the map. Kind of figure it out a little bit. Cause we're gonna have to end up coming here and doing this with a PMC and then, you know, the deaths like actually matter. <laughs> so, um, am I reading the rap, the map wrong? Might be reading the map wrong. I, I do this a lot. One hour later. Uh, maybe we just run toward, maybe we can kill a player, take their stuff. It's a lot of gunfire though. Also, I do have a, a single shot, but if I, if I hit this single shot, oh, we need these actually, we need ice screens. <clears throat> the thing is, if I do hit the single shot and kill him, then uh, we're in business. That shooting was like right here. So. It would be awesome if I could. Uh... Nope. Oh, is that not actually a real? That's oh, not a real one. Okay. Uh, do I need the soap? No, I think I already have that. Yeah. I do not need soap. I was say, did I just see somebody? I did not. 
Alright. Yeah, I think that shooting was like right in here. Hello there. Oh, I got him. Hell yeah. Let's go. What a freaking flick. Yep, that was PMC. Alright, that'll be our ticket right now. Alright, we'll come back for... I don't think I need any either of those, but we'll take them. Um, how do I get out of here? We'll loot that and then we'll go get him. Dude, that was nice. Okay. Alright, that's kind of what we wanted here. And I know where I'm at now. That little, uh jump behind the window strat I do that a lot or like you know quickly quickly take a shot and duck behind a window I do that a lot and it's pretty effective yeah so hey we got the single shot gun but I mean it worked for us there ooh nice okay he's got a good kit oh did I just did I hit him right in the body armor I think I did it's alright this will still work for us though now let's just take this. Say he did basically did our looting for us. <laughs> okay. Hell yeah. All right. Well, that's a success at the moment. I like that. I'm not sure what those are, but those look cool. So we're going to take these. Those actually do something. They protect something. So yeah, we'll take it. Uh, we'll take that just to sell, I guess. Yeah. Ooh, APSX ammo too. Wow. Okay, we need to get out of here with this stuff. Do I have the sewer manhole? I do. Hell yeah. Okay. We honestly don't really have much uh, time left anyway and whatnot. So, okay, let's just get out of here. There we go. Let's call that a win so I can drink some more coffee. All right. I don't normally show this part in the episodes, but I thought this was a little bit funny. So check out my stash right now. I'm down to literally one cell left. So I got to do a bit of organizing and a bit of cleanup and sell some stuff and hopefully see where our rubles are at. We should be able to get ourselves a scab junk box. And once we do that, I will really be able to clean up this stash. So let me go ahead and do that really quick um, and see if we're able to buy our junk box real quick. Okay, guys, so that about should do it. I think I had to sell a gun and a couple other things and just it, I, I think I got enough money here. We're going to basically be down to zero money, but we have so much stuff that it's like I, I really don't care at the moment. We kind of just need to buy this uh, for our stash. And uh, yeah, now I'm going to throw everything in the junk box and we're going to see uh, how well I'm able to clean up the stash. So again, I'll be right back. Okay, folks, so here's what the stash looks like now. So we were able to definitely clear a bunch of space and, uh, yeah, provide us a little more life here so we can actually put a bunch of our stuff in the scab junk box when we come back with a bit of uh, tech loot and stuff for the hideout. But now we're going to go ahead and go and, and attempt this uh, Klimov Street exit um, quest that Jaeger gave us, I believe. Yeah, it's from Jaeger, right? I think it is. Yeah, ceasefire. Because it's worth a lot of XP, like I said, and I, I've never done it, so I kind of want to try it uh, on streets. So uh, I think we got a nice, we got our our pretty nice loadout right here. I don't even know if I should bring all of this. Um, I don't even know if I should bring the tries it. Maybe I should just bring the MBSS because I don't know how much looting we're going to be able to do. Um, and if I accidentally do this wrong, it's probably a good idea not to do to bring my biggest backpack for this. Let's bring a smaller backpack. I'll probably regret this, uh, but let's, yeah, honestly just in case I do it wrong or something and like you know we don't get out I don't want to lose my biggest backpack for just not knowing what the hell I'm doing so let me put that S march back in there okay we're good let's go ahead and head in there and we'll see what happens guys all right and we are inside are we in the hotel right now uh we might be somewhere actually where we need to be oh gas analyzer beautiful let's put that uh it needs to be found in raid so yeah we kind of need to get out with that that was a gift from the game I think all right, so not a bad start here, guys. Let me go ahead and examine that. I don't even know if I need that, really. I'll take that for money, I guess. I guess I should have brought the big backpack since I started in here, but I wasn't expecting this, of course, but whatever. Um, yeah, guys, uh, I think this, this spawn will be good for us, especially if I can kill a couple scabs, get some, uh, get some nice XP real quick. I mean, honestly, I'm going to get the looting XP as well. Yeah, I think this is an area where I'm going to have to go outside. 
Yeah, there's probably a scab sitting right out there somewhere. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my bearings, try to kind of figure out where I'm at. I'm going to instantly try to just get outside and go over to Klimov Street and get out. And honestly, the biggest uh, the biggest problem is going to be if freaking Killa is on the street. Okay. I actually think... Am I right next to it? If this is the street I think it is, then I'm actually pretty close to where I need to be. Okay, let's go in here and see if we can find some ice greens and all that. Um, does that stuff spawn in here? I think it does, like food and stuff. It looks like it should. I hear somebody. I think over here. Kind of like somebody was in this other room. No? No. Okay. Well, it's loot. The door is just open and I hate that. I need those. Honestly, I think though I need those for the hideout, so. Yeah, that'll that's actually it. worth it to me because I can do something with that whether I get it out or not. Oh my. Some good money. To make sure I get them out. I don't need that. So yeah, let's just bring the CMS up here. Put that there. Put our ibuprofen back. Yeah, the CMS can stay there. Oh, we got an airdrop too. So hopefully that'll draw some people away from us. Because honestly, this raid, I'm not looking for a bunch of fights in this raid. I'm looking for trying to get this quest done, and that's pretty much it. Pretty much already full of loot, almost. So, I mean, if I get out, like, it's a win. Ready to search this guy? No. Um, I don't need those. Um, I guess I'll take the FMJ ammo. That scared the crap out of me. As you guys probably just saw, I just jumped. Okay, I think I'm in the... vicinity of where I need to be. I'm going towards it. I swear I can hear somebody. That's why it's scaring the crap out of me. Here. I'm going to duck in here. But I'm pretty sure I need to go across the street. Alright, hopefully I don't screw this up. So if I do screw it up, do I even have the Klamov Street exit? I do. Okay, so if I do screw it up, I know where Claps Crane is and all that kind of thing, so I can get out that way. All right. Let's just go for it. I know there's going to be scabs over here, so I got to look out. No, there's no way to get in through there. So I need to go down the street here. Yeah, in here. So somebody, I think, went in there. God, that, that mannequin. That mannequin scares the crap out of me, too. Oh, God. Please don't be... Is that killer? No. There's no way. Oh, this is where killer can roam. Please, God, don't be killer. If it's killer, I'm basically dead, guys. There's no way I'm going to survive it. All right, well. Let's paint up. All right, here we go. I really hope that's not that's not killer, because if it is, that's this is gonna be really really awkward. That was a oh unfamiliar scab voice line is basically what I'm saying here. So I'm kind of being cautious. That was far off, too. So what I maybe could do is, like, toss a grenade over that area, but that's, like, he can roam right through here and around that area. So, what's the play here? I gotta, like, I gotta find somewhere with cover. 
I don't know. I got the map up right here. I, I gotta go down this street. I gotta, like, actually hug the wall over there, so I might have to go around, actually. I need to go this way and get to this little spot right there and shoot a flare off for this mission. All right. I heard him, though. He was, like, over there. All right. Oh, God. Here we go. Run. Do you really want to see this? This is going to be bad. I can already tell. I heard I heard somebody voice lining, so this is going to suck. Okay, so I need to go out. Isn't it, like, right there? And that's my exit right there. God, dude, the thunder and lightning needs to stop. I can't hear anything. Shut the fuck up! No one cares! Okay. So, the flare zone... Where... Just heard somebody again. I don't know what that voice line is, though, because I can't hear it properly. I'm just waiting this out, guys, because I got a lot of, like, important stuff on me, so I'd like to survive this, but we'll see. I can't... I hear them faintly, so I don't know where they are. I think... <clears throat> is it down there? That the flare, is the flare zone? Oh, shit. Well, there he was. Did he shoot a green flare already? Is that what that is? Alright, well that's who I was worried about right there. Alright, we need to go back down. I'm gonna hide in this bush. Oh boy, we're gonna have to get fat. Another one of these. Uh, he kinda got fat for us, actually. See what he got. Anything worth it. Honestly. Uh-huh. That's good. Okay. Um. I'm gonna get rid of the crap I don't need. To my right, I think. Okay, so, where am I? This sucks, because I literally don't know. Okay. I literally don't know where I'm at. Is it out there? I think it's out here. That I need to go. I don't think it's over there, unless... No, that's a fire. Okay, that's not a green flare. No shit. Don't you shoot a green flare out here somewhere? Oh man, I really don't know. You gotta... I need to watch a freaking... Tutorial and like... Know exactly the spot to do it, because I literally don't know, guys. Alright, I'm gonna go hide really quick. I'm gonna go hide and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go watch a tutorial on this... Uh... This mission, because I literally don't want to die. Okay. Let's figure out where the hell we are. I think I know where I need to go now. But I don't know if I'm in the right spot. It says snipers are right here. Okay, did I go down too far? I don't want to even go near that street because I know that's where they can be. Okay, I am not where I thought I was. Oh, signal flare area. Okay. Here we are now. 
Okay, so this is where you need to be. Okay, so... What, I just shoot it up? How do you use it? Like what? How do you, how do you even use this thing? <laughs> Did I wait too long? Oh god. Please don't shoot me. Oh my god, I did it. We did it, chat. We did it. Or guys, we did it. Sorry, I called you chat again. Oh, we did it. What a raid. What a raid. Thank you to whoever's video I was just watching. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. We did it. Not only did we kill a USAC and get out really fat and didn't get killed by Killa, that's a new quest I've never done before, so that was kind of funny. Uh, and we, yeah, we did it. That That is great. I'm very happy about that. Woo! Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We, uh, once again have a stash problem, so I'm gonna have to probably unload all this, figure out what to do with everything I just picked up, and, uh, we'll go from there, because I, yeah, I got a lot of stuff now, so we got a lot of things we can do with the playthrough now. All right, guys, so what a raid. I know that was a little hectic, but, uh, you know, I had to figure out that, that whole quest because I've never done it before. So, yeah, we got it done. We were able to catch that, uh, that PMC off guard. He had no idea where we were, thank God. So that was just like in live, like maybe like somebody would have never known we were there. So that was pretty lucky for us that he kind of just was there and we got to get the drop on him. But he ended up giving us this really awesome uh, uh he had prs ammo that's also why i didn't take his mags if he had like a golnik or something like that i would have tried to get those mags but uh i noticed that I, I took this because it's a good build already and he has a gl on it which i have literally never used before so like maybe we'll mess around with that or i'll just sell it maybe for some money i have no idea but because of our good scav junk box we're able to get a lot more stuff and we have a lot of things we're able to do uh, in the stash but first of all let's go ahead and sell some of our spoils here. We don't like some of this stuff we don't need. Um, the food and all that. Let's get rid of it and get money. Um, mechanic. Sell these gun parts and stuff. We don't need any of that crap. Um, that's money as well. Fence. I don't know if I'm going to need this SSD. Let me see. Is that a, is that a regular SSD? Do, I, do we need that for a quest? I think maybe we do down the line, don't we? I can't remember if we do or not. Honestly. I'm just going to sell it right now. I'm probably going to regret this, but it's okay. We need we need the money. All right. And so with that, what we're able to do now, uh, we got a lot of things. Let's let's, uh, let's take care of the hideout first. There's some stuff in the hideout we can do. Okay, so in the hideout, we can first off get the med station now because we found that last bandage. I'm glad I grabbed that. I didn't realize that it was going to be found in raid, but I guess it was. What? So perfect. So now we can make some meds. Level two, what do we need for that? Yeah, lots of that kind of stuff. Okay. Blood sets and uh, salines. Okay. Oh, and the med tools. I haven't been picking those up, but I guess I will now. All right, heating. All we needed was that last matches, and now we have it. Beautiful. And then, uh, oh, I had some defuels. I should have kept those. Dang it. That's all right. We'll keep them now. I always do that. And then for nutrition unit, I think I still just need a power cord, which... Uh, I th if we need we need one more T plug, I think, to make a power cord. Yeah, we need just one more T plug, and then I can actually craft that, which would be nice. But I also need some fuel. Um, the nutrition unit. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, cool. All right, so we we got some stuff done in the hideout. That's awesome. Now let's go to our traders. Uh, whose quest was this? So tasks. No, that was Jaeger's quest. Let's complete the quest we just did, which is awesome. Ceasefire. Never done this quest before, but now we just did it. So that's pretty cool. Um, that's not a Kappa quest or anything, guys. I, I honestly literally just wanted to do it um, because I've never done it before. And it gives us some more flares, so that way we can do it again. If we go back to streets, we can take a little flare gun and shoot a flare up and, and escape that way, which is kind of cool. And Therapist, I believe we got our last uh, 
gas analyzer. So that's great. We'll do that. Beautiful. And that gives us painkiller, which we already have done as well. So that's really good. There we go. Will we hit level 12? Yes, we will. Awesome. So that's why I keep that kind of stuff laying around. And then pharmacists. So basically, we got another one that we have locked behind. It. Unless this is the one that is always open. It might be. I can't remember if I need to open this door or if it's already open for me. Uh, we can always just go up there and check. But Because we're going to have to go to do a lot of stuff in dorms anyway. Because we have this quest right here, which is locked behind a door. Uh, which I'm going to have to barter for the key. So one of these keys I should be able to get now. The director's key, which that'll help us do delivery from the past. So we need more crackers, but I'm pretty sure you can buy them directly from her. And you can do three at a time, which is good, because I can. I just need three, I'm pretty sure. Yep, and then now we can barter for the director's key, which is completely worth it. I mean, I haven't found it yet. I usually... Well, the funny thing about that, guys, is usually in live, I would normally have found this key by now. But for some reason, in this... In this version of the game, I have not found uh, keys very easily at all. It's been really hard. So, um, And then now we need meds for um, getting this dorm 206 key, which is like pretty crucial. So um, in order to get meds, uh, we actually need to get matches and cricket lighters. Um, or we just got to go out and find a ton of them. So that's that'll be like our next mission maybe. Um, is to find a lot of meds so I can get that dorm 206 key or honestly just find the dorm 206 key on a scab because you you can find it it's just I am not I'm not finding it anywhere unfortunately so that's just what it is oh yeah and I forgot we can do uh, we, we can accept farming part one now so this is the tool set quest so I actually need to make sure I look for tool sets I have not picked any of those up because I had nowhere to put them before um, I believe you can get them who can you get those from I think you can get them from mechanic you got to turn in a bunch of tools though Oh, right. This is what you need those two those random tools for. Okay. Well, we'll either just find them in the world um, You can't buy them. Unfortunately, normally I would buy them off the flea or something like that if I was the right level But um, we'll either have to look for tool sets um, For that quest or we'll have to just find all the tools for it and then uh, barter for those So that's something we can also do and then I forgot to tell you guys We actually got a bunch of meds from uh, that quest from therapist. So where are we at with meds? We have three of seven. We need uh, We need what is it? My god, math, math, Ricky, math, four more. My god, my brain wasn't working. All right, and I think with that, maybe we do one more raid for this episode? Maybe. Maybe we'll do one more raid. What do you guys think? You gotta do something, right? Okay, guys, so what I think I'm gonna do now that I have the Tarcone Director's Key is I think to finish off the episode, I might want to try to do delivery from the past real quick. So we'll see if we can get this done. We gotta basically just go give it a shot and try to get the uh, the folder from Tarcone Director's Office and get out and then stash it in the factory. So uh, we'll see if we can do it really quick. But also, I remembered that I got a couple more of these dog tags that I needed um, for this quest here. Boom. Um, I just need to kill two more PMCs, so maybe we can um, find a couple USEX in customs that we're, you know, since we're going there. But yeah, basically we're just going to go ahead and take this kit with the big backpack uh, and go see if we can't get this done really quick. So here we go. Okay, here we go. And we are, where are we? Oh boy. Yeah, we are not where we need to be. So we got a, we got a nice little run ahead of us. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're not from the distance down here. Yep. get him yeah I got him drink this there's usually more than one but we'll see yeah I'm not really sure yeah there's usually there's usually two scabs over here that roam that might have been a PMC. Yeah, it was. That was a bear, though. Not a USEC, unfortunately. Right. Yeah, he was just kind of chilling there. Probably spawned down here. And then ran up and, like, was doing that thing where, like, sometimes they... Sometimes the AI PMCs will just kind of stop and they, like, look around for a minute. If they hear you. But that's basically when they lock onto you, though. 
Like when they do that, you gotta you kinda gotta be careful. Like I just did there. Luckily he was only a pistol guy. Doing a pistol pistol run. And I actually like that about the AI too. They like spawn just with pistols sometimes, because like that simulates somebody just doing a pistol run. Which a lot of people actually do that. I'm just gonna take it all because I have room. Doors closed, so I'm not worried about that area. Just worried about what's around me at the moment. Right. Close that. And here's I got I can get eyes and see if there's anybody out here. No scabs. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't hear any. Okay. We got ourselves a nice pistol. What did I just hear? Oh, that was the bag, I think. I'm telling you guys, I'm hearing stuff, man. I really am. Dude, this Zook, the Zooks are always good to find because they hold a lot of stuff. I almost feel like I should loot more because I, <laughs> but you know, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we just take what we're able to get. Oh my. You're kidding me. Oh. Okay. That is GPU number two, I think. Breaching. Here's Johnny. Bing. That is why Tarcone Director's office is great. Here's the item. I've done this quest so many times, you guys. Like, I know this like, like the back of my hand. Because I've had to do it and then redo it so many times after getting killed. And no intelligence? Nope. The jacket. That's kind of crazy. I uh, can't believe it just spawned a freaking... Yeah, we need that battery for a quest as well. Nice. Getting some useful stuff here. What do I get here? A <laughs> chainlet. Alright, we ended off with a chainlet. Okay. Well. Better than nothing, I guess. I haven't seen one yet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna loot this area. Because why not? We're here. I just heard something. And it didn't sound like a scab. That sounded sound like a PMC voice line. It's like off in the distance somewhere. Hmm. <clears throat> if I'm smart, I really should just get out of here. Since I'm holding a freaking GPU now. But we got a big old backpack. I kind of want to fill the backpack. But greed always gets you killed in this game. That is for certain. Alright. So I just got to remind myself I got plenty of grenades. We do get into a fight. All right. All right, let's get out of here. Could have sworn I heard something over here, but it could be a scav. Because scavs, they, they spawn back in this, this area back here. And a nice way to see if they are back here is to do, do this right here. Toss one of these. Didn't hear anything. Should be good for a couple more loot spawns right here. And then... Oh. See that? The inertia literally pushed me out of the way right there. I couldn't even... I couldn't even loot that. Wow. Now we're finding our matches. There we go. Alright, Iskra. Let's go. Give me that last Iskra. That's all I want. Come on, right here. Right here. And we're out of here. That'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes in this game, I swear, you ask and you shall receive.
here we go. Stay right here. Do our wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay. Nice. What a freaking raid. That was big. Okay, that was quite the nice raid right there. I didn't expect it to be that f that nice, but I mean, you know what? I'll take it. So we got some stuff we can sell right quick, get some more money, um, and then yeah, let's let's do all that selling really quick, and then we got a couple quests we can actually complete. Actually, I think I think it's just one actually. Let me sell this real quick. There you go. There's some good money. So we got a brand new AK-74, and I think we need that for a gunsmith quest as well. Um, so I, I may keep that or just use it. I may just build that up and use it. Um, but it, this Isker right here is great for this quest right here. The acquaintance quest, we can actually complete that. Oh man, big dubs today, you guys. Look at that. Yeah, now we got this right here, the unprotected but dangerous right there. So now we get to go have some fun on woods probably in the next episode trying to kill scabs without any armor, which is never fun. That That is really, really scary. Um... And then, yeah, I think now what we can do is actually go attempt to go put our item down in factory and uh, have a really fun factory run really quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably bring in like a and do like a pistol run type thing like I've been doing and have a little fun with it. So I'll see you guys when we get back in there. All right, you guys, I changed my mind. We're going in with a full chat kit right now. Brought the MP7. Actually, and we got the best spawn for what we're doing. Bam. Did that. Alright, now let's get up here. And kill us some PMCs or scabs. Honestly, I'm gonna let him come to us. Come. You got two coming. Yeah, I do. I hear a couple of them actually. Yeah, I'll give him time. Do some loot and see if they come come this way. Nice. So now for the quest, all I gotta do is survive. Which, you know, easier said than done sometimes. Here they come. I hear them. He's coming up. Yeah, here's somebody running around. I just don't know where they're at. Mm -hmm, here he comes. Yeah, here he is. This is a cheeky way of doing this, but we might as well do it. They're just gonna all come rush the door like that, then you might as well let them. Alright. Somebody's having some fun. I'm really looking for when I search the scabs bodies is keys. There's other random stuff like that. Yeah, nothing.
need to be careful, but I just don't see anyone. Oh, there they are. Oh, shit. Yeah, they see me. Where was that dude? He sounds like he's right by the window. Blood. There's a player. Nice. Yeah, we'll just let him kind of come to us. Divide my cheese. There was a bad guy right here, wasn't there? There was. Get a couple kills, maybe. Have some fun here. Not gonna loot yet. MCs. Where's that dude? I don't see him. He's down there somewhere. Might have got him. I got lucky. Snuck up on me, almost got me. Jesus. I gotta heal now. Yep, that dude, he caught me off guard there. Did not realize he was there. Right, let's hop in here and heal. Alright, now we're doing the old... The old, what do you call it? Factory shuffle is what I call this. Just run around and run around and run around. Seal around before it blacks. Yeah, they're still fighting. I want to loot that PMC that I killed, though. each other I guess yeah they're all like underneath I think is what there is where that's happening can I close that door there's a guy underneath here that was shooting at me it's worrying me It sounded like right next to me.
Greed. I need to just get out of here. Although that guy had some more shit. I kind of want to see what it is. Ooh. I think he's like right over there. You know what they say? Fuck around, you're gonna find out. Yep. Oh, did that did I shoot a guy? Uh, I'm one of the guys I must have been shooting. He must have just died. So one of the guys that I shot, he uh, that was running away. I think he finally died. I think I brought a bunch of extra ammo. Well, I mean, not a bunch, but like enough. All right, we need to get out of here pretty soon. Put the scabs swarm us. All right, let's go back and see what else this man had for us. Oh, that's a tack rig too. Good one. I, need to, I, cut, I probably should take that. I'm just dragging right now because have to kind of oh shit like scared the shit out of me okay yep here comes a bear PMC my booty hole. Oh shit. No, you little shit. I'll tell you what, these scabs, man, can suck it. Holy hell. Where's my healing at? There it is. Jesus, that almost he almost killed me there. That was so close. Woo! He pops some adrenaline and run. Yep. Need to run to the extract. Honestly, there's there's more loot, but I'm gonna get killed trying to get it at this point. I heard I heard that bear PMC he's over here somewhere okay, we got full I think that PMC was limping in here. He was. He tried to get out and he died. Alright. Salute him. Jesus, he has a gigantic rig too. And an MDR. Holy shit. The greed. Shit, man. Huge backpack as well. Um, honestly. Nice. Tell you it's the only way I find keys. I take his backpack and stuff too, but I'm not going to. I'm slide. I'm skate. I'm ice skating right now. Holy crap! I am fat and heavy, ladies and gentlemen. 
All right, factory is, seems to be an easy way for me to get some, some loot if I need it. Holy crap. What a raid. Wow. Yeah, I killed... Okay, so I only did get the two. <laughs> That's a funny name. Stefan Smith. That's a perfect one. Oh, man. W guys, what a raid. Another raid. What an episode. Also, holy... What a freaking episode. Okay, let's wrap this thing up here in just a second. All right, guys, what a freaking way to end the episode. This is a this is a sick looking M, uh what do you call it? An M1911 too. That was a cool find. Um with rip ammo. Uh so we got ourselves an MCX. That'll be fun to use later on in the in the series. We got extra ammo and mags too. I grabbed these just in case maybe wanted to run an 8R or something like that cuz I can't buy uh well actually I can buy 30 rounders, but it already has a bunch of ammo. I can't buy this ammo. Um, that's M855 right there. So we can run uh, the 8R with some nice mags right there, which that's, yeah, again, that's why I picked those up. Because I remember to have that. We had a bunch of tech loot and stuff like that too. Uh, some rip ammo, which would be fun to use. I got myself a couple of uh, sights and everything like that. I got a GPX. Holy. Yeah, and then we got two quests we're able to just complete right here. So skier, um, friend from the west, that is done. We keep killing PMC, so bam. Level 13, got it. Uh, friend from the West part two, which is hand over some money. That's easy. Uh, oh, we need actual dollars. Okay, so I got to buy some stuff or sell stuff to, um, what's his name? Peacekeeper. And then we'll be able to get that money. So we'll, we'll work on that. Um, I thought that wasn't easier. I thought I'd had money, but I'm used to that. I'm used to having the money, um, but I don't have it in this playthrough yet. Okay, and then we also finished delivery from the past first try, which never happens to me. I always end up having trouble with this, but not today. <laughs> Love that. All right, next we got BP Depot, which will bring us back to customs again to mark some chankers and stuff like that, which I'm sure that'll be fun because we got to go to a lot of different, you know, high traffic areas and customs. Um, but yeah, that's for another day. We got plenty of other quests we can do another day. But guys, I'm going to sort through all this and uh, see where we're at after that. But that's going to do it for this episode. If you guys enjoy the um, SP Zero to Hero Tarkov series, make sure you guys leave the video a like and subscribe to this channel so you'll see the videos as soon as they are released. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.